Well, hey there, y'all. Welcome on back to the old Mountain Man and to another episode of Spooky Story Sunday. Of course, it's not all that dark again this time because once again, it is Sunday and I gotta get this video by the night. So by God, I just decided that I might as well start it early. We got the old fire smoking in the background. Just look at that. I don't even have my flashlight with me right now. So if it gets dark, I have to run in and get it because, well, it's Spooky Story time. So let's go. Tonight's story is a real good one though. I think y'all are gonna like it a lot because it actually takes inspiration from our good friend Jeffro from Old Mountain Monsters, and it's called The Night Gnome. All right, y'all, well, it's much darker out now, as y'all can tell. I mean, just look at it, it's black out here. A couple hours later, but I thought I'd be able to film the whole story earlier. Unfortunately, it was rushed for time, and well, we're back now, and <laughs> it's nighttime. But anyways, whoa, what the hell was that over there? Crazy old Maya. I see his two glowing red eyes out over there. Must be Maya being silly and whatnot. Well, anyways, of course, today's story, The Night Gnome, it's a good one I got for y'all. So it starts off, and, well, I was going to say Halloween night, but I guess it don't really matter what day this takes place on. Just a normal old day. How about in the summertime? Why the hell not? And anyways, it's about this guy named Gary. So he just lives in this, you know, little house in this queer little town. And, by God, he loves garden gnomes. He's got... A whole big old queer collection of garden gnomes. <laughs> you know, we like to call Jeffro a garden gnome all the time. Well, this guy, he loves Jeffro from Mad Monsters and he loves garden gnomes. So he's just got his whole yard decked out with garden gnomes everywhere, my God. I mean, he is always doing things with these garden gnomes. You know, he's polishing them off, waxing them, rearranging them, just making them always look tip top shape. You know what I mean? All spiffy and whatnot. <laughs> so, anyways, one of these days, <laughs> nice summer day outside. And he's polishing out the garden gnome, saying he's about ready to go in and get some rest and, you know, go to bed, of course, and whatnot. But anyways, he goes upstairs, goes to bed, but then he starts hearing this, this pitter-patter outside. And he's like, he's like, what the hell is going on out here? I'm going to go out here and see what the hell is going on out here. So he ends up going outside, and what all he sees is this big old, old man. And he's got big, long, white beard on him. And this old winter blue hat <laughs> and overalls and whatnot. And he's just this old queer. And he's just staring at him. And he's got this big old bag with him. And it's full of, well, he didn't know what it was full of at the time. He's like, what in the hell is going on out here? And then he starts looking around and he's like, where's all my garden gnomes at? Says Gary. And this big old queer that's standing in front of him. He's like, eh, these are my garden gnomes now. I got them in this old bag right here. And y'all ain't getting them back either. And Gary's like, oh, I, I've had enough of this. Give my garden gnomes back right now. I, you know, been collecting these garden gnomes forever, by God. They're, they're like my family. You know what I mean? This old queer though, he just wouldn't give the garden gnomes up for nothing. Didn't matter what Gary told him. He was trying to bribe him. He said, "I'll give you whatever you want inside. I'll give you a, a couple hundred dollars, by God. But just please don't take my garden gnomes. I'll have nothing to do anymore. I'll be lonely and I'll just be all bored in the house all day." And this old queer, who, like I said, shared a striking resemblance to Jeff, by the way. <laughs> But Gary's Jeff's biggest idol, by God. So he, I mean, he swore it wasn't him, but I don't know. It sure definitely sounds like him when I'm describing him here. Anyways, though, y'all hear that? I feel like I hear something out here. Better not be an old coyote or something. Oh, y'all see anything in the tree right there behind me? What? Wait, wait a second. What in the hell? Is that a garden gnome, by God? <gasps> I know that old queer. That's that's none other than Bo. That is that old queer, Bo. What in the hell are you doing here, Bo? Explain yourself. We're telling spooky stories. It's Sunday, by God. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. All right. Well, I guess Bo's just gonna stay there the whole night. Nah. He was being too queer at old Cave City Gay Days. He's saying. All right. Well, you stay there, Bo. Don't don't even think about moving or getting any of the those other queer gnomes. By God, ah, back to the spooky story. So I oh, was falling down. <laughs> so, anyways, back to the story now. Ah, uh, Gary, you just going crazy. Like, please don't take off my garden gnomes, please. And that old queer who shared a striking resemblance to Jeff still never got his name. By the way, he took that sack that he had full of Gary's garden gnomes, and he said, "By God, I will never let you get these gnomes back because they're special. You don't know the meaning of these gnomes." By God. I'll show you the damn meaning of them. You know what he did? He took that big old bag of gnomes, and he, instead of, like, taking it off to a truck or something and running away with them, hopping over the fence, he just smashed it all over the yard. 
and this big old bay of gnomes just lit up like fire. You wouldn't believe. It's like all this magical substance just came out of it. All these sparkles and everything. And it just went into Jeff, or whoever that Jeff look like guy is. That, that gnome stealer, by God. And it's like it just lifted him up into the air. And almost turned him into some kind of like weird, queer, hillbilly garden gnome. Magical creature. I don't even know what to call it. And now this gnome thief just had this big old set of wings on him he just took off into the air by god he just like a big old sorcerer he didn't know i mean gary just lost for words he didn't know what the hell's going on he's like you know what <laughs> i don't even want these damn gnomes anymore i don't i'm i don't even like that old queer jeff anymore i've seen enough of those queer parodies of him i think he's just a an old gay hillbilly garden gnome so I, i'm done with this <laughs> he just ran off into the house uh, he didn't know what's going on and that big old jeff look alike queer ah he just took off into the night sky Nobody ever saw him again. And Gary never ended up getting his garden hose back either. So that tells you something. I think Jeff had something to do with it. Y'all let me know <laughs> what you think. What in the hell's going on with this old garden gnome stealer on this very queer gnome night. But yeah, anyways, that's going to be it for our shorter story today. A little bit rushed for time. But next week, which will be the very last episode of Spooky Story Sunday for the year at least, will, yeah, be the last one. So it'll be a good one, of course. <laughs> next Sunday, I guarantee it's going to be the best spooky story sunday episode yet this one was pretty darn good though i'd say too what the hell is that squeaking going on like that no i'm getting mighty suspicious out here i don't see maya out here anymore either and last night when i was out there back there with maya i saw two glowing yellow eyes i don't know what the hell it was but i think it was a possum when i looked at the footage it looked almost like it had almost like a mask on its face or a raccoon i don't know but it is dark out here Next week, I'm going to come out here a little bit earlier to the, to the Spooky Story Sunday. Uh, but yeah, anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And oh, before you go, make sure to say goodbye to... Oh, wait a second. Where did he go? He's not out here. Bo? Are you out here, Bo? I, I, don't, I don't see you anywhere, you old queer. Hmm... Something's mighty suspicious about this. I don't know what in the hell's going on. Man, where did Bo go? I don't see him anywhere. This is getting mighty peculiar here, guys. I just can't find this old queer anywhere. Y'all see him? Look in the tree. I don't see him. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Bye, guy. What in the hell is going on there? Why are you upside down, Bo? Oh, my God. I can't take this queer gnome oh, madness anymore. I'm getting out of here. Anyways, I hope y'all have a better night than I had with these queer gnomes dealing with him all night. Hopefully they stay the hell out of here and leave me the hell alone. I'm just an old mountain man. I don't want none of this queer no madness going on right here on the old property. Oh, what the hell? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time for another episode of Spooky Story Sunday right here on the Mountain Man. Hoorah! Going to catch a monsters. <laughs>